This is a list of the melting points of 12 metals that I'm focusing on. Down near the bottom, you'll see 10. It melts at 449.5 degrees Fahrenheit or 231.9 degrees Celsius. I actually bought this ingot off eBay for about 10 bucks. It's about 5.5 ounces or roughly a third of a pound and it's supposed to be 96% tin. I am 303. Thank you for watching. Warning. Fire burns. Be careful. Because of its low melting point, it's often used in solders. I'm not sure where the guy that melted this ingot sourced a tin from. It could have been from solder, but it could have been from pewter. Well, that was fun, and it melted so easy, it probably is mostly tin. I melted it into the ice water like that so I could get some good clean pieces. A lot of people will call this shot. Now I'm going to melt this end piece on this graphite block here, so hopefully I can get a nice flat piece out of it. should have preheated the block first. It looks like there was some moisture on it. It's not perfectly flat, but I think it'll be perfect for the shape that I want. It's kind of interesting that the permanent marker didn't melt off. So I wanted to melt it one more way for this video. So I got the super scientific hot plate and a cast iron skillet and I turned it up to max. And here's some of the shot we just melted. And this is about seven minutes later. I used my graphite block to try to push all the molten tin into a little puck. This whole process took about 10 or 15 minutes. Melting it into shot and melting it on the graphite block was definitely a cleaner process. If you notice, this has a little bit of a golden tint to it, and that's because it picked up some of the rust off of the cast iron skillet. The end.